What up, people? Oh, I'm here, Washington, D.C. I made it. Well, Maryland, but I'm here. You know it. Had to come check out my boy, Tobias at Huncho House. We've heard all great things about it. Now it's time to go in and see what the deal is all about. I got the team with me, so let's go in and check out Huncho House. Yeah, I'm good on sushi. Good on sushi? I'm one of them. You one of them? Okay. I just want, unless it's cooked, I'm good. I'm one of them. Is, is, is shrimp, is shrimp oh, shrimp is real. Any masago, um, like uh, um, uh, fish eggs and caviar and all that? No, it's not. It's okay, if it's, if it's cooked, I got it. If it's cooked and there's no fish eggs, I'm good. No caviar, I'm good. I would recommend a bunch of Oysters also. Top oysters are our top centers. Yeah, I'm good on oysters. The fire roll. Fire roll sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds, but we're gonna order a lot. Quite a few things. So where do you how do you want us to do this? Where do we start? Um, is there a cocktail menu for them and, uh, to grab cocktails? Okay, so on the amuse, y'all want the deviled eggs? Deviled eggs is served with shrimp and bacon jelly. Tell me you want eggs? Deviled eggs? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So let's go with, as a matter of fact, let's just get one of everything. Well, just give us a roll of everything. On the on the amuse, we'll take everything. And then on the, the roll, the fire roll. Yeah. Actually, fire roll and then the California roll should be okay too, right? Yeah, yeah let's do one of those. So let's do all of the amuses except for the... Uh, pork belly because you don't have it, right? And then on the sushi, the fire roll and the California roll. How's that? Thank you. All right, so uh, the menu, let's talk about it for a second. Uh, they got the amuse, which is cool. That's like your appetizer. So they got deviled eggs with fried shrimp and bacon jam. Uh, Wagyu egg rolls. They have a miso pork belly, but it's seasonal. Charbroiled oysters for Tammy. Asian shrimp, it's crispy tempura with goju jang. Goju jang is a Korean chili paste, and then there's jerk chicken lollipops with a jerk mumbo glaze. Mumbo is germane to where we are, which is all about being in the DMV area, close to the D to DC, obviously. They got sushi, a couple different rolls, if you're into that kind of thing. Mine needs to be cooked, just letting you know how I feel. They've also got salads, a house salad with a citrus house dressing and a Caesar. Looks pretty good. It's got baby jam, shaved brussels, avocado creme, fried capers, soft boiled egg, garlic herb, croissant, croutons, shaved parmesan, right? For 18 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. You know, give me a Caesar salad. Give me something with some personality and some jazz. On the uh, chef's favorite, I've got a jerk short rib, chicken masala, and a crab and jalapeno fettuccine. It's gotta be delicious. They've also got some mains, so spicy lobster rigatoni. Snow crab, garlic noodles, Asian glazed salmon with crab fried rice, seared sea scallops, red snapper, granzino, jerk crab cake, cilantro, wine, uh, lime, lamb chops, right? It's gotta be dope. Steaks with add-ons. Sides are house mac, crab mac, garlic herb, uh, potatoes, lobster mash, spicy broccolini, sauteed asparagus, crispy Brussels sprouts, cream corn brulee. So we'll probably get a run of all of that just to make sure, see what's happening, you know what I mean? 
Let's check out this food. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Welcome to the chef table. Thank you. So I'm here to do a review, which is why he's here. Typically what we do is we order a run of almost everything. So I'm going to, it's like I did with the appetizers, you'll put them all out. Before we taste them, he'll record it, like whatever. And then we'll do the same thing on the entrees. So I'll probably get five, six, seven different entrees that we'll order. We'll make it easy on you. Yep, yep, as soon as those come out, yep. Thank you, appreciate it. So let me tell you what we've got. All the apps are here, let me tell you what we got. So this is the crispy Asian shrimp. This is the California roll. This is the Huncho House fire roll. These are the charbroiled oysters. This is the devil eggs, the Huncho House devil eggs. Those are the cheesesteak egg rolls. And this is the jerk chicken lollipop. You already know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dig in and figure out what's all going on over here. So let's start with the obvious, the shrimp. These are humongous. I don't know how much this costs, but some tell me it's a lot of money. Okay, that's what they tell me. Ooh. It's tempura. So it's got a little crisp going on. The sauce is slightly sweet, not overly sweet. It's done right. I can appreciate the technique on the tempura. I wouldn't add a thing. No, I wouldn't add anything. So far, so good. I have no issues with this whatsoever. All right, let's go with the, this is the California roll. They have gold chopsticks. I think they're great, all right? I'm gonna put a little soy sauce. I'll tell you what I think. I'm supposed to just eat just one, right? Let's give some ratings on this shrimp. Technically, it's done right. It's not overcooked. It's got the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of crunch. Five out of five. I have to give it, give it a score. It's got to be five out of five. And not only that, believe it or not, the sushi is quite outstanding. You know it gets a five out of five. You already know that, OK? All right, let's try. The Huncho Roll, now I did keep a menu near me so I could tell you about the Huncho Roll. Spicy crab, tempura shrimp, pickled cucumber, avocado, and then tempura flakes. And I love a good cook. The presentation, this is I mean, creativity, presentation, it's all here. So let me see. So good. It's everything's done right. The cucumber is pickled. I get a little bit of that acid that cuts through. The wasabi is beautiful. It's like a cream almost. The ginger in here that's been pickled is absolutely outstanding. So as it stands, I don't see anything wrong with any of these. It is complete. Five out of five for me, so far, all right? All right, now, next up. These are the egg rolls, the Wagyu. All right, I have some sauce here. So let's try it with the sauce and let's see.
play well. Nothing bad to say about this whatsoever. Not one thing. Maybe a little more cheese, if I could be honest with you, but other than that. It's done well. Onion and pepper. Touch of spice on the end, what you get, which is beautiful in this. I, I find, trust me, I'm looking for a flaw. Can't find one. Five out of five. Could not find one. All right? Take that remote from me. All right, last thing to try on the apps. I'm, just, I'm actually not going to take a whole one. It's going to cut me off a little piece. These are these lollipops. Uh oh. Wait a minute now. Oh, it's fried. Okay, let me see. It's a little tough to cut now. There we go. All right, I got a piece. A big enough piece. I don't know, this is a little tough. Let me see. Okay, I can see. I see where he's going with this. Execution is not 100%. The drumstick was cleaned beautifully and all the meat was pushed down. Seasoned and then either cooked and then fried, like grilled and then fried or something like that. Doesn't translate well. Flavor's okay. Breeze a little bit dry. Three out of five on that. I can give you A for effort in terms of creativity. Nobody's doing this. Um, but it's just it's just okay. As a matter of fact, I think it's a little overcooked. So everything else is so technically beautiful, and then I get this is just okay. You know what I'm saying? So three out of five on this, but everything else so far, five out of five. I don't eat oysters, I don't eat eggs, obviously, right? So those will lead to the crew to have those, but so far so good. Let's check out. We ain't even order yet, I'm already full. So let's order some entrees, and then we'll see what those are talking about. We know any mains, or we wanna get something started, or we gonna take our time. Mm. Let's show you guys. On mains. Jerk short rib is a That was the number one. So let's do jerk short rib. The crab how So jerk short ribs. Crab and fettuccine Alfredo. I mean crab, you know what I'm saying. Crab and jalapeno. Is there anything you want specifically? It doesn't matter. I got the short ribs, the fettuccine. The rigatoni. Crab cakes. Okay, so let's do jerk short ribs. Short ribs. Crab and jalapeno fettuccine. <laughs> jerk crab cakes. Crab cakes. <laughs> Poor Ramon. <laughs> you ain't sure don't hear you can eat. Seared scallops, red snapper. You want lamb chop? Huh? I don't eat lamb chops. You want the lamb chops? Yeah. All right. So jerk short ribs, crab and jalapeno fettuccine, spicy lobster rigatoni, jerk crab cakes, and the lamb chops. Yeah. Alfredo and Rigatoni. Yep. Thank you, sir. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this. This is like a foodie destination. Oh, we got to get um, 
a couple of side dishes. We didn't add those. We didn't. We gotta get the sides. When he comes back, we'll add the mac and cheese and the Brussels sprouts. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, Brussels, and the corn brulee. Regular mac. Regular mac. Yeah, we. Yes, sir. Sorry. We are we a real tough bunch, ain't we? I know we a tough bunch. It's a tough, but but you see you see how we weave in and out. You've been around each other for too goddamn long. We got a whole system, like you told you. I know it's so weird, cause we we sharing plates and all that. So we do it for the review. That's the main reason we here. It's for the review, and then we all gotta eat. So it's like let's do the review and let's eat at the same time. What's the best way to do that? You know what I'm saying? Order a bunch of stuff, run down the list, and then hand it off. Hand it off. Absolutely, absolutely. White tea. White tea served with tequila. White tea served with tequila. Here we go. Thank you. All right. Bring this food out. They're over here playing with us. Where is the food? Where is the food? This is the jerk crab cake. All right. Okay. Sauce makes it, honestly, a pinch of salt, if I can be honest with you. It reads a touch flat. Love the idea. Love the creativity. I don't get much jerk, though. So if we're going for jerk, I don't get it. Do I get good crab cake? Yes. Do I get, if it was a little salt? Yes. Do I get jerk flavor in the crab cake? I do not. All right. So this is the crab. I don't know if this is crab or not. What is it? This is the um I wanna get the right I wanna get the name right. This is the crab and jalapeno fettuccine. Alright. Crab and jalapeno fettuccine. Please be the best I've ever had in my life. The salt is in there. One more grain of salt, it'd be too salty. Other than that, crab flavor comes shining through. Pasta's cooked well. Sauce is good. I really have no nothing to say bad about that. Lovely little garlic overtone happening. So yeah, absolutely. Five out of five for me. Crab cakes, three out of five. The uh, pasta so far, five out of five. Let's try this one. This is that spicy lobster rigatoni. Party is good. Everything else is a pregame. Party's right here. Amazing. Five out of five. I don't want those uh, those lamb chops. I don't eat lamb chops, so you can knock those out. All right, let's dig a little bit into. The short rib. <laughs> Definitely curry. Oh. The strawberry by itself. Yeah, it's okay. 
the risotto heavy on the curry. Just know that. It's like a, it's not really like an Indian Indian curry. I get a little bit more West Indian than I get super Indian. And I just said to myself, it's missing salt, right? This big hunk of meat sauce, the salt, it's in the sauce. That's where the salt is. So whatever you do, roll that through the sauce and then taste it. I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised with that. Four and a half out of five for me on that, okay. Let me try the corn. Five out of five. Sweet, fresh corn. Sugary, kind of charred on top. Yeah, that's really, really good. I, I have no problems with that whatsoever. That's really good, all right. Kabatapi is the pasta. All right, this is made with the uh, Kabatapi pasta, so let's see. As good as any mac you get anywhere else. Brussels, balance. Sweet with the bitter, five across the board. I wish I could give you, well, the short rib, technically four out of five, four and a half out of five. Everything else, perfectly seasoned, perfectly balanced. Not one complaint from me. Let's go outside, let me give you my final thoughts. Thank you. Have a good night, thank you. All right, folks, we did it. Another black owned restaurant in the bag. This one I'm super excited about, Huncho House, right here in uh, Maryland. Y'all know it, y'all love it. Honestly, the whole experience, five out of five. Even the stuff that I thought could be a little bit more seasoned, but you gotta give it to the man for creativity. You gotta give it to him for taste. The service was impeccable. If you're gonna do restaurant, this is what I'm talking about. We're talking about the standard, right, levels a flavor, you can't really uh, beat that. In terms of like the way the presentation goes and how serious he is about getting it all right, and that 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 uh, lobster spicy pasta is simply insane. Listen, this is one you ought to come to. If you're ever in the DC area, man, get out here, fly out here, come out here, get your reservation, and come check out Hunter House. I guarantee you, you're going to love it.